Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations and this is the card project we're making using um, a masking technique and um, your dies. So it's thinking about using your dies outside of what they're intended. Um, although obviously when you cut these balloons out then you would have um, still kind of made the same card but by just using ink you're able to layer and do some fun stuff. So um, let's get started. What I'm going to do is um, we're going to obviously we're going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock which is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I am actually going to um, tape this down if I can find my tape. Um, okay, so we're not going to tape it down. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I had a nice um, flat surface here. Um, so I've got some, I'm obviously using the balloons um, framelits, and what I did is I cut myself a template just from a piece of, um, this is actually some old cardstock that I had, um, but I cut that out so that I could ink up because we're going to use this bunch of jobbers, but I also have a couple of extra pieces here because I want to do some masking with these. Now I know that I want the full one. I want a full one here, and then I'm going to put the other ones behind, um, so it, it looks like a a, um, a collection of balloons, obviously. So I'm just going to line my template up here with where I put my my balloons for my balloon, and. Okay, and I'm going to start with the Melon Mambo and my Sponge Dauber. Now I'm going to want to, I want to hold this tightly because I don't want it to move underneath. And since I'm using this as a, as a template, I want to make sure that I, I get it where I want. Now I'm going to focus on getting the ink heavy on the outside and lighter kind of in the middle and at the top. So we want the whole image, but to um, mimic the look of, you know, so I want to leave it kind of lighter there. So you're going to bring, so the, if you think about your light, your light source is coming from the top right, then all this down here is going to be darker. And I moved that, so I want to make sure that I get that back where it was supposed to be. Okay, and so work the ink from off the card onto the card. That way you don't get any um, big splotchy marks and your your ink application is nice and smooth. Okay, now I can always go back and add more afterwards. So there's my my first balloon. Now what I want to do is I want to put this I want to I want to cover this. So what I need is a temporary adhesive. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of adhesive to the back. And I'm just going to kind of run my finger on it. I don't want it so sticky that it actually pulls up the paper. So by just putting a little bit of dot, you know, a little bit of adhesive on there and then just kind of attaching it. And I, want, I don't want it to, to move, but I also don't want it to stay there. So now that's there. And <clears throat> I want to... So if I'm looking here at these, I want that one. I want to be able to see the, the balloon stem. And then I'm going to put another one up here. So this one I don't actually need because it's not, it's not even in the frame. Okay, so this one I'm going to do with the Bermuda Bay. My Bermuda Bay and my sponge jar. And we're going to do the same thing. 
Again, we want to focus on our heat source or our light source up there. Now this isn't actually even touching, so I want I want that there. I'm, I'm moving it around a little here. Okay. Just make sure you prime your your daubers again off and then bring on. That way you can keep your you have better control of how much ink actually gets put onto the paper. As long as you're getting all of that colored. Now I'm getting a little bit of color from the outside so where I've inked up here, I'm getting a little of that color coming in, but it's okay. It'll it'll dry okay. Okay, so now that's all the color I want to put up here, and I want to darken down here. <coughs> so I'm focusing on my shadows here. So now that's my Bermuda Bay balloon. And then we're going to go in with our pumpkin pie. And so then we can take, if we need to, yeah, we're definitely going to need that there. Now I want to see, oh, I guess we don't. I wanted them to overlap, but I want to be able to see the the balloon. So I don't actually need the one over the Bermuda Bay. I just need it over the Melon Mumbo. And I apologize. My allergies are so bad again. <clears throat> Very stuffed. Very stuffed up. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my sponge dauber and I'm going to do the pumpkin pie again the same, the same way. I'm just going to dab onto my pad and I'm, I'm working off of a little scratch piece over here on my my side where I'm making sure that I get my my dauber kind of prepared again starting off now this is going to be the light area over here because remember the light is coming from the top right so that's going to be the lightest of our areas oops and be very careful about placement Now, now I wish I would have had those connecting. Now see now I've got the balloons behind. Maybe I could do a yellow one back there. Unless I did another one. I just kind of held that there. Do a little bit of yellow. Get my daffodil delight. Let's try this and see. It's all trial and error. What you like and what you don't like. I love these sponge daubers though because it makes it so much easier to get your color on there. Okay, now I'm only going to go there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cover up just going to be very careful. I'm just kind of working the edge here around the orange, around the pumpkin pie. And thankfully those colors are close enough that I can, I can do that. And now I've got my yellow balloon back there, which I love. 
Perfect. Okay, so we're almost done with the card. We just need to get our greeting on and our um, and our strings, and we are good to go. So I'm going to use um, the happy birthday sentiment from the Ten of Cards, the stamp set, which goes with, it actually has a card kit that goes with it as well. Um, but this is such a versatile set because it's it's basically a great sentiment set. I love the, the fonts that they use in this set. Um, and then you have just kind of block lettering as well, which you use, are, are you actually supposed to use those for the tab dividers in the, in the card kit? Um, but it's just, I mean, it's a great set. One of those things that you just kind of have all the sentiments that you need on hand. Now I'm going to put happy birthday down here in the bottom corner with my memento black. I still have not inked up my black ink, so I'm hoping I'm going to get a nice impression. Okay, and I'm just going to put that right down here in the bottom corner. Perfect. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm just going to take a black marker. You could use the Project Life if you have other journaling pens. Um, you could do that. If you have even some black thread, you could you could probably get those on there as well. I'm going to put a little right there, and then I'm going to just kind of roll it down. I'm going to make it kind of go behind the letters. And don't forget we have that one. In the back. So even though we can't put an air or a bow or anything on there, we can still have the streamer coming down. And that finishes our card.